What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I uh, thought I'd put something out quick today because I didn't get a video out on uh, on Friday. My apologies, there wasn't much going on uh, in the football world except for Sinistera signing, I guess. But um, those videos that like confirm signings don't seem to do so well. So not that I'm making it about views and stuff, but um, I thought I'll just compile it into a video on Monday. But um, a bit of, I thought I'd, I'd do a short video today and just chat about what... Um, the starting 11 looks like for me right now. Um, a bit about Rafinha. Uh, obviously, Sinistera signed, so happy days. Um, he looks fantastic, and I can't wait to see him. Um, a bit of news today. Uh, my dad surprised me with tickets to, well, plane flights to uh, Brisbane. So I've um, I've bought tickets into the Leeds United Supporters Group uh, area, which is like behind the goals. Um, so if you uh, if you're there, um, I want to have a chat. Feel free. I'll be in the supporters group area. Um, you know, just come up and say hello. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bite. Um, it feels weird to say that, but you know, there is some Aussies on here and um, people who watch this who are Aussie that aren't subscribed as well. So uh, come up and say hello. I'll be happy to. I'll be with my old man. Um, I'll do a video afterwards as well, talking about the game, and I'll I'll see if Dad wants to come on to it. Um, so don't slay him too much, um, but he'll put his you know, maybe a few comments after the game in a short video. And um, but I'm buzzing to go. You know, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. I'm just happy to go and we we'll see see all my uh, all these players play because I haven't got to see us in um, play live uh, since I was in the UK last, which was 2015 um, on my three month trip to the UK when I lived in Liverpool. Um, so I'm super excited. I can't wait to go to the game. Um, and yeah, absolutely buzzing. This is a day trip, so I'll be flying in the morning uh, and leaving after the game and going back to Melbourne. Um, but yeah, super buzzing. Sinistera, going to get to see some good players. Unfortunately, not Rafinha, um, because he's not coming on the tour, uh, because at this point he needs to just go. Um, from the look of it, Barcelona haven't offered anything better either, so... I'm a bit annoyed. Um, part of me is you see why people cave and why teams cave to this sort of pressure because Barcelona are so annoying and Rafinha it has been is just entertaining this and not going to, to Chelsea. But hopefully, you know, part of me thinks Leeds needs to hold strong and turn around and say, you know what, no, you can play with for us for another 12 months. Or, um, you know, I know they want a fund to get more players in, but... I'm actually quite happy with business so far. And, you know, Bamford and Gellhart up top. And I'm going to see the Lord Bamford in, hopefully, in Australia as well. And, um, you know, Sinister is great. A great signing. And I actually, I'm really positive with it. So I don't think we need to sell Rafinha just yet. I think we can make a, make a point here that um, we don't have to sell. And, and I'm a bit frustrated because, you know, there's three instances where they're saying Barcelona don't have the money. Uh, Raul Betis is still owed money from the uh, Furpo deal from four years ago. Uh, Bayern Munich rejected Barcelona for Lewandowski because they said they don't think they'll be a club in one or two years. Uh, look, they'd sell their assets and stuff, but you know it won't be a. They might not be a top club anymore. Oh, because I mean, it feels like Messi kind of stuffed them over a little bit in this whole thing. Um, and then you know. Um, the the last one was that apparently Frankie De Jong is still owed seventeen million pound by uh by Barcelona and Barcelona went to Man United and said I'll give you three I'll, I'll pay him three million if you pay the rest and uh, cheeky cheeky buggers you know like I, I are we gonna get paid for Rafinha is if Rafinha goes for fifty odd million when are we gonna see the money for that if Leeds do this and don't have a conversation with Rafinha and say listen. This is not good. They don't have money. Um, it's just frustrating. Like, so, uh, convince him to go to Chelsea. Get that 60 or million. Not that Chelsea will want him anymore now. They'll probably say, no, don't worry about it, you know. Frust really frustrating that, that Rafinha would hold the club to ransom like this. Um, I think he said he's happy to stay and wait for Barcelona. So, look... I'd be saying cash up front, not that they have it, and see how how it looks next year. But um, at this stage, I'd rather stay safe, keep Rafinha, and, and not sell to Barcelona because 
we'll know more about their financial situation in a year's time. Um, they may be in dire straits and won't come back in for him, which means we, we get more money for him. Um, but yeah, so that's the Rafinha thing. I, I'm a bit frustrated with him at the moment, really frustrated. Um, anyway, I'll move on. Like I said, very, very happy with uh, go, me going up to Queensland. It'll be It's going to be a good little trip, just a day trip, but it'll be nice. Um, Sinistera signed, looks great. Um, yeah, buzzing with the business we've done. Um, how I think we, we would line up, I'd say, obviously, Melier and goals. Um, we're apparently looking at the goalkeeper now as well, experienced one, so that would be cool. Uh, I don't know who it will be, but it would be interesting to see who we get in. Um, I'd like to see Melier and goals. I think we need to start with Stroik and Robin Koch. Um, Junior Furpo, who played fantastic uh, on the weekend against Blackpool. Um, he will be on the left, I think. Um, if we even if we don't get another player in, I'd, um, yeah, I don't see us getting a left back in at this point. So he'll be there <laughs> on the right, obviously Christensen, which I'm buzzing to see him as well. Mark Rocker in the middle, he played fantastic. I'm I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to play a four two three one. I'm not going to do the four two two two. I'm just going to play basically a four three three. Um, Mark Rocker, who who looked really really good. So that that the offside goal where he played the ball to Furpo. Just the the way he weighted it as well. The ball just held up perfectly. And then what a ball by uh, Ferpa, by the way. Split uh, three de- defenders. Um, and a great finish by Gelhard, but obviously didn't get the goal, which is unlucky. But um, it is what it is. Um, so I think he... I think uh, Mark Rocker in the middle with Tyler Adams, probably. Attacking midfield. Um, I was thinking Aronson, but I completely forgot about Rodrigo. And Rodrigo looks to be playing better as an attacking midfielder under um, Marsh than he does under Bielsa. Um, mainly, I think, because of the work rate. I think he's required to do a lot, a lot of running, but it's not the same amount of running as what Bielsa expected. Um, so I think he'll play attacking midfield, and then Sinister on the left, Rafinha on the right, and uh, Paddy Bamford up top. But Gelhard isn't far away. Gelhard is not far away from that starting spot. Um Bamford's one injury away from losing that spot 100%. I think he gets one more chance because of how good he was the year prior. Um, but, yeah, Gellhard is very, very close. He looked fantastic in that game. Um, shout out as well, the young uh, Gray. Uh, Archie Gray, I think it is. I've, I've, completely, I've got Eddie Gray stuck in my head now. Um, but Archie Gray, I think it is. He, he looks like some player. Um, look, he's only 16. We're not likely to see him much this year. He'll probably come in for the odd um, cup game. He'll come in for the early stages of the cups, and then um, I think he'll he'll play the odd game here and there. But he looked great. He looks like a fantastic little player. So uh, excited about that. Only 16 years old. So, yeah, overall, that's probably my starting 11. Um, I think that's a very solid starting 11. I think if Furpo keeps continuing to grow and, uh, you know, hopefully he grows into this because he, he – he looked, uh, he got forward a lot. He got forward heaps. I was surprised he wanted to go forward. I know that they weren't great, uh, Blackpool, so it afforded him a bit more time to go forward because um, he didn't have to defend as much. But, yeah, he looked really, really good. I'm really excited about that. Um, hopefully he keeps going. But, yeah, it's a, it's a, Mark Rocker looks very good. Um. Had a look at his injury, because everyone sees his injury prone. Had a look at his injury record. He only missed 45 days last year uh, with an injury, uh, which was only five league games in the end. So, um, you know, one and a half months is still a decent sized injury, but I wouldn't say it was like the, the end of the world. And before then, it wasn't that injury prone. So he had one other big injury in 2016 to 17. He was out for a little while, but... No, it, he's not that injury prone. So obviously he wasn't getting the squad, which to be fair, when you got Kimmich and um, Goretzka and stuff, it's sort of hard to explain. It's not hard to explain why he, he didn't make a squad. Um, but yeah, looks great. Plays a ball, um, looks to go forward, picks a pass out quite well. I like the way we uh, we when we triggered on the press, how quickly the passing was happening. We were getting the ball and playing it. And if you looked at one of the, uh, I don't think it was the last one, but the training video from the one before, they set up sort of two banks of four with the uh, with the cones, and you could see the passages of plays. You know, people coming off the cone, receiving the ball in the middle of the two lines. You know, the back line, the midfield, 
turning and playing a ball through. And those areas where they were playing the ball is where they, they were on the weekend. Um, even just the way they were trying to cross the ball and hit certain areas with um, through balls and stuff into the attacking like areas. I, I have a feeling now that Jesse March, Marsh was uh, playing a bit of Bielsa ball towards the end and trying to keep it w what they know and stay up with it. Um, probably implementing a bit of their his strategy, but this preseason, it's, it's about him. Um, I hope he does well. I feel bad for the bloke being American and, and copping the flack that he does and already starting behind the eight ball just because of the fact that he's American. And, you know, sometimes I get sucked into listening to him and thinking, oh, like, it does, it is annoying, but I believe in him. Why not? I've got to, you've got to believe in him. He's our manager and um, he's going to do great things. So I'm going ahead. Let's just let's just go for it. He's going to do great things, and he, we're going to end up hailing him as a as a as a, as a great manager for us. Not great as in top top manager, but I think by the end of his tenure, I think we'll think he he's done a good job. Um, and all he's got to do is sort of keep us in the league, get us to mid table, and keep us there, and then maybe we move on and get somebody else in to push us further. It might be him. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so overall, pretty happy. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to uh, I'm going to, to to Brisbane. So that'll be the title of the video. I'm going to Brisbane, um, and then I'll and obviously send us there aside. So uh, yeah, appreciate the love and support, guys. I, I really do. Um, and it's interesting finding out the people that watch the videos as well. You think this little old channel here with 400 odd subscribers um, wouldn't attract any attention, but there's a couple of people who have subscribed and watched the videos who um, who you know have quite a few subscribers themselves. So. Um, if you ever want to do any anything, shout out, and uh, I'm happy to do a video. But anyway, um, I'll leave it there. So I'll uh, see you guys during the week, and then on Sunday I'll make a little video of my old man and and uh, chat about the game. So yeah, happy days, and uh, I'll speak to you later. Peace.